How y'all doing? This is Anjane King. Welcome to my kingdom. If this is your first time knowing anything Anjane King, well, welcome. Nice to meet you. I'm glad you're here. Stay a little bit. And if you are not new to this, you're true to this, and you know a little something about Anjane King already, good to see you again. You look great. Everything you're doing is working. Keep it up. <laughs> So today we're going to be doing a look, this look, and also I've asked 20 women stories about when they've almost killed a man. And I have those stories right here. You do not want to miss it. Side note, but I did ask some ladies about a time when they almost killed a man. Almost. Just in case the feds watching, almost never killed nobody. Let's get right into it. So right now I'm fresh faced. Uh, I don't got no makeup on. Hmm. Yeah. By the way, if I keep sniffing, it's because my ears is clogged up. Not because I sniff coke or shit like that. First one is going to go to Miss Beautiful Flawed. First time she thought about killing the man was, <clears throat> in quote, when my ex caught himself slow dancing with a random beep at the club to my song, which was Love in This Club. Y'all know Usher. And then, um, beep got snatched up so quick in Sugar Daddies. Hashtag he tried it. Hashtag not the one. Like, what do people be thinking? Like, not that we came to the club together. And you dancing to the most disrespectful song you could happen to dance with somebody else with. The song is about cheating on your loved one in the club with another person. Because they so fine that you want to sleep with them in the club. Yeah, girl. That's definitely a death sentence. Like, huh? Talk about love in this club. Let's get it. Mm -mm. I would have went straight to the bar. Oh, no, I would have just went straight to him. I can't even be strategic in them times. It's like, you found the right one. You like to play, and so do I. So, Miss Sassy says, when he put his hands on me in public, do he put his hands on you in private? Because if he put his hands on you in public, he's way too comfortable with putting his hands on you. And that means the next time he sneak, sleep, you need to get those same hands that he thought he could put on you, gently slow them down, and slow, gently cut them off. Because then I'm pretty sure he wouldn't put his hands on you again. Or if he thought about it, you know. He'll second guess when he lost a few fingers. That's definitely out of pocket, though. Put his hands on you in public. That means you put your hands on me in private, sir. But Yeah, you should kindly take them same hands and chop them shits up and boil it and make soup. I have another one. This one is hilarious. It is from Miss Shalil. Should I say her name? Because I know her name. She says, when he got fat. <laughs> Girl, you are out of pocket. <laughs> like, mind you, the question was, name a time you almost, <laughs> you felt like you almost had to kill a man. And she said when he got fat. Some people don't want no fat man and he gets skinny. Like, well, when all this happened? When he got fat. So you may exit all that shit to the left. <laughs> okay okay so the next one is when he tried to stop me from bringing a beep to my house i don't get that i tried to read that and it's like what so was he bringing a girl to your house mind you my was in caps so he was bringing to her house 
So was he bringing a girl to your house and you was trying to tell him, like, what is you doing? Like, you were trying to stop him and then he was trying to stop you? Or was it like you was bringing a girl to your house and he ain't want the girl there, so he was trying to stop you from bringing a girl there? Because if he was trying to stop... Either way, it's like, who do you think you are, sir? Go on the fucking sidewalk. But if... He was trying to bring a girl to your house and you was trying to stop her from coming in and he was trying to stop you. Girl, yes, I would have definitely had a case all in the court. Like, well, I don't know what y'all want me to do. I don't know what y'all want me to do. Now, like, what are you doing? Do you, are you on drugs? I would really be like, are you smoking? Are you smoking? Okay. So here's some eyebrows. They gon they are they gonna work though. They gonna work. So here's another one. It's getting kinda crazy. When he tried to pretend like mother boobs was family to stay close to them. So, <laughs> who is these people like? What make them like, huh? So he was trying to act like he was trying to act like a girl. Let me let me try to interpret. He was trying to act like a girl was what his cousin or a family member or something like that, so he could stay close with her, but really was with her. And then you must have found out they wasn't related. First of all, it's like if I gotta ask you who is this person and you gotta try to defend them by saying they're your family member, don't play with me. Because I know a family member from not a family member because a family member is casual conversation. If I see something up enough, where I look crazy. If I see something up enough where I have to ask you, who is this? Then you don't tell me that it's a family member because I'm bound to swing. Don't tell me shit about it being a family member. Who is it? Okay? Because now you now you're being disrespectful thinking I'm stupid. It don't matter if you say it's your cousin. If it's like nobody flirts with their cousin, nobody flirts with their sister, nobody flirts or do nothing weird like that with a family member. So it's like if you seen something and you had to stop, you know, you had to question who was this, it ain't no goddamn family member. So at this point, you plan. Listen, I didn't have some times where I'm like, who is this? And they like, it's, and before they can even get the word out, on who it is and I genuinely don't know who it is but I know it ain't somebody I would want it to be before they get the word out it's a it's a party now we're gonna get into the eyeshadow where it gets fun mm. so I like to start off with brown all the time all the time and if you guys watch my other video I always blow um the you know <laughs> the fucking eyeshadow off that don't make no sense. And I don't like the way this is sticky on my face. So another thing I forgot is that people be like, sick. yeah, that's crazy. Like, no, you're not about to try to be friends. You're not about to try to, that's my cousin, me. Get fuck if it is your cousin. Don't care. How about that? Don't care. They get shocked when we hit them with that one. It's my cousin. And tell your cousin. No, but I don't think nobody tried that stupid shit on me. Not that that's my cousin. They might be like, oh, that's just my friend. I don't give a fuck if it's your friend or not, okay? Tell your friend back the fuck up before you smack her in her fucking face. How about that one? Yeah, how about that one? Tell your friend you will slap her in the face. Wouldn't you? Oh, I have a mirror. Duh. Here we go, girl. Ooh, I was about to look crazy. I was really about to look crazy. Oh, okay. Another one says, when he told me he was at home, when he told me he was at home, but I ran into him at a party. Wow, the disrespect to these niggas. Like, why is you lying? Like, why is you lying? That would confuse me. Like, what was the point of lying? Why you can't just say you was at a party? 
Cause clearly I'm 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 popping out too. Clearly it might be the weekend. Why are you lying? Saying you at home. At this point you don't even do nothing wrong except be lying and I don't trust you. And now since you lied and we had a party, let's turn up. Let's turn up. Let's get kicked out. I'm Janae now probably wouldn't do that. I'll probably be like happy. You know? Leave him alone. But Andre Day then would definitely be like, let's get kicked out. You all better ask about me. Blows. Because you did not just lie to my face like I'm some little kid. I'm getting some pink going on. I don't really know what I'm up to, but this was, was what my look was about. So the next one says, when he told me, nah, I don't care, I'm getting you pregnant. Well. Did he die or did he get you pregnant? Which one? <laughs> no, but that's bold. They're very bold. Okay, another one says, when he forgot my birthday and I confronted him about it, and then all of a sudden he needed to go to Walgreens to pick up something for his dad, but came out hiding something in his shirt, in his jacket, and then five minutes later he pulled it out saying, see, I didn't forget. Girl, girl, I don't even know what to say, cause one, to get me in that car to go get something for your dad on my birthday, well you would've be one lucky man, one lucky man, cause we would be in that car, we wouldn't be in the car, no way, you forgot my birthday? I can't. I, I gotta have a new man. I can't even invite you at this point. You just gotta go. You just sincerely, genuinely have to get the fuck out of my face. Because you disgusting. <laughs> Y'all, this is my first time trying wing eyeliner. And it look a little um crazy at the moment. But I'll lie to you if I say I'm not proud of myself. Because I see some people do it very hugely, you know. Like this, whoa, cover that. And it turns out fine. Let me get this mirror again. It turns out fine when they put their lashes on. Um, these lashes are a bit dramatic, but these are the only ones I got at the moment. They are right though. Okay, so here's another story. When he dropped me off from work and said we'll have a sleepover, whole time I check his snapchat and he's in Rocky Point Mexico well that's a huge lie like how'd I even work I feel like I've had letdowns like that too but I know you in Rocky Point Mexico bitch but it's like oh we supposed to do the hunting and then we can't and I'll be sick but that's fucked up how you tell me we gonna have a sleepover when you end up in Rocky Point? Stay there, ho. Stay there. And I hope you fall in love. Cause this is done. That is some crazy shit. That's insane. I should tell a story of mine. But Sips Girl Boss Fuel. Because I'm not like crazy at all. I got sense, you know what I mean? I'm very reasonable. Well, I got sense. So, but I don't got patience for no dumb stuff with no man. Because I feel like I really like to be alone. Like I have a great, like I don't, I, I know people love relationships and people be ready to be in them and stuff. Me, I'm the total opposite. I like to be with myself. If I'm in a relationship, it's, I had my first relationship in college. When I'm in a relationship, it's shocking. And it's like, oh, okay. But they're usually, you know, great things. But I also have a great time by myself. Like, it's lit. I do all the things I want to. I just go follow my dreams and shit. But... So if I'm with you and you think you about to fuck up and stuff, it's like, uh, wrong want to do that with. 
Now I'll just leave. Now if I'm with you and I really actually do want to be with you and you start messing up, it's like, and now I feel sorry for you because you probably ain't never met a white like me. Because you probably ain't never met a white like me. I set it off. I used to set it off. I remember this time, this girl had came to visit me. I don't like how I just did this. This girl had came to visit me um, at my school. And then, so she in my dorm, my little boot thing is out with his friends doing, you know, whatever he do. So here come the next day. And I see him on um, Snapchat. I don't like this little shadow thing. I just gave myself putting on too much fucking. I see him on Snapchat the next morning. And it's like, you know, some, some little recap. And in that recap, I'm like, is it me? Or is that a little flap of a pink pillow? You know what I'm saying? Like, something giving me pink pillow vibes. And I'm not really liking it so i'm like what is that so i'm looking mind you i probably spent a good hour on that i'm like because it was just like a little the end of the like the pillowcase but i'm like that's pink you hanging off your friend it shouldn't be nothing pink around it so i'm like uh speaking of pink so i'm like hmm I keep going back and forth, going back and forth from my friend. Like, what's wrong? I'm like, tell me I'm not tripping. Do you see this pink pillow in his Snapchat? She like, no. I'm like, so what ain't you, what aren't you seeing? Like, what, what, what can't you see? I'm looking dead at it. She's like, I just don't really, I can't really tell the colors really blurry and it's in the corner. I'm like, that's your fault. Bye. And she's like, I don't think it's a pink pillow. I'm like, I, I didn't ask you to, girl, it is a pink pillow. I ask you, can you see it? You ain't got to tell me if it is or not. It is what it is. There's a pink pillow right there. So now I'm calling, blowing this man up, blowing this man up. He's not answering. So now I'm hot. Like, I'm seeing so much stuff. And I was hot. I was so mad. I'm like, I cannot wait. And the nerve. The nerve. So I'm like, if he, he better hope if I see him out and about in his lifetime that he don't stare at me and I don't see him. That's just that. So uh, then he answered or he called. He called me back and he's like, hello. I'm like, why are you in a Snapchat and you're sleeping with a pink pillow? He's like, what? I just woke up. I'm like, you didn't just woke up. Let me tell you what you actually did. You just, you been up. You left somebody's house. So you ignored my calls. And then you decided to get back to wherever you think you at. And then you decided to call me with this sleep voice. He like, I just woke up. So I'm like, there's a pink pillow in that room. It's at the edge of the bed. And then I think I seen like some cigarettes. I'm like, so what y'all buying Lucy's together? So anyways, I'm like, yeah, it's a pink pillow. He like, ain't no pink pillow. So I'm like, it is a pink pillow. You thought I was born fucking yesterday? You think I'm an idiot? You think I'm dumb? It's a pink pillow where you were sleeping at. So then he's like, I guess he go look for it. He's like, oh. So he's like, that's so-and-so pillow one of your friends i'm like listen that's his pillow then i need you and, and that's where you are right now i'm like well i need you and him to take a pillow on that bed i mean to take a picture on that bed with that pillow and i know that the friend had dogs so i'm like with the dogs because y'all could be anywhere together anywhere where there's pink pillows together that's your friend getting a picture but i'm like i need the dogs there mind you I'm saying everything like your yeah, outfit. I need the. I need everything. Some throwing something so I know it's right now. That man must have sent me a picture. Of him, his friend, the dog, the fucking pink pillow, and I'm like, oh, that's a raggedy ass pillow. That is not a girl's pillow. It is a girl's pillow, but why they had it, I don't know. And it's raggedy as shit. And I'm like, boy, let's get back to that. Not answering the phone. He's like, you're crazy. I'm like, no. I'm not crazy because it was a pink pillow. That's what I do now. And my friend was like, mm, you're crazy. I'm like, I'm not crazy. It was a pink pillow in there. She's like, but how did you see that? Girl, listen, don't ask me about all that. That's what it used to be. That's not what it is now. That's not what it is now. I've learned my lessons and stuff like that to not 
go so crazy and pop off. Like, nobody wants that. But I used to be convinced. I'm like, if I was crazy, then he wouldn't be with me, right? Right. They'd be like, yeah, but Aunt Janae, you didn't really have to. Why didn't I? Why didn't I? What would you have done? Worry about yourself, sis. Worry about your motherfucking self. And it's a time when, you know, like, when I'm mad and I feel like that is it's, it's righteousness because I be chilling. So if you do me wrong and I got to retaliate, it is righteous. And after that, it's all holes bars. I do what I do. You do what you do. And made a be the best man win. Like, that's just what it is. I will go in, boy or girl. I will go in. I will try to stay alive. And if that means I got to get something and you will be bopped upside your head and knocked out. That was in the past. <laughs> I keep sounding like a psycho. But that was really in the past, though. Like, in all honesty, it was. This, that was truly back in the day. Where is this gloss? So, I'm going to put on some Fenty lip gloss. The pink one. I know I'm extra because I shouldn't have done pink, but I did do pink, so that's just what it is. I kind of wish I didn't. In the video because I could have did like a little hot girl nude like if I just was like you know let me try to throw it in there anyway Yeah, thanks to all of the lovely women who shared with me their killing in stories when I asked them to. So, listen, whatever y'all did, at the end of the day, you were right. Okay? Just do or die out here. Stay alive. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay out of jail. Okay? Do what you gotta do, but stay out of jail. You know what? And I don't promote violence, so you know what? Don't kill him. Just bust up his head, bust up his lip, bust up his car. Keep him alive. You might, you might need him later on. Reproductive purposes or something like that. <laughs> but yeah. Stay blessed. Stay out of jail. It is Anjane King. Thank you guys for watching. Killer Man will be dropping soon. Another wink. This is my first time doing an eyeliner. Tell me I ain't all that. Mm. Subscribe though because I want y'all to stay up on my...